Today we are going to learn about the concept of matrix. Right? Now many a times, you know, you get certain data and to write it in letters is not that easy. Let's say there is a vendor of fruits. Okay, let's say there is Mohan and Sohan. Okay, now Mohan sells apple and orange and Sohan also sells apple and orange. Okay, so let's start one by one. Let's start with Mohan. Suppose you were told that you know Mohan has 10 apples and 8 oranges Right Suppose you have to write this information There are two ways you write a complete sentence saying Mohan has 10 apples and 8 oranges or you can also write it in the form of a bracket wherein you write it something like this okay and you can write very well that A here and O here which means that this 10 corresponds to apples and 8 corresponds to oranges right so you have to develop this understanding that the first item is in respect of apples and the second is in respect of oranges now let's say Sohan also has 20 apples and 16 oranges right and you want to mention this as well so what you can do is you can just extend these two brackets to write that he has 20 apples 8 oranges Right now, here I need to develop an additional understanding that the first line represents Mohan and second line represents Sohan. Okay, now let's say there was a third guy who chipped in Radhika. Again, Radhika also was selling apples and oranges, she had 80 apples and 42 oranges. These numbers are all just hypothetical if again you have to mention this here well you need to extend the brackets so you write Radhika here apple 80 so apple column write it 80 oranges you write 42 now this tabular representation okay which is something like an rectangular representation is known as matrix so what happens is by just by looking at this matrix I can find out so suppose a third party comes in and he asks how many oranges are there with Radhika so you immediately look the oranges column you immediately look where is Radhika and then you find it out so the presentation of information becomes easier that's the purpose behind a matrix okay now a matrix basically can contain these numbers okay it can contains any kind of functions so it might comprise of x square instead of these 10, 8, 20, it might have x square, y square, z square. Okay. X, y, z. Not necessary that it has to be numbers always. Right? Now let's understand certain things about a matrix.
Now, this horizontal placement, which is something like this, is called a row of matrix. The one on the top is called the first row. You have the second, third, fourth, and there can be as many as you want. Okay? The vertical placement is known as the column of a matrix. Again, this is the first. You call it the first column. This is the second column. This is the third column. Okay? So let's say, for example, if we were to put this as A is equal to this, a matrix is always represented with a capital letter. So we say that one, two, three, four, there are four rows in the matrix. Then how many columns are there? One, two, three. There are three columns in the matrix. Right? There is a term called order of matrix. Order of matrix basically refers to the row into column. So you multiply the number of rows with the number of columns in a matrix. That will give you the order of the matrix. Right? So let's say for example in this case you have four rows and you have three columns. So the order of the matrix is 12. And this is also equal to the number of elements which are there in the matrix. So if you count them, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. There are 12 items or 12 elements as we call them in the matrix. Right? Now in a general form, in a general form, if you have something like this as a matrix, this is represented as A, A, let's say we take a 3 by 3 matrix. This is called as A, 1, 1. Where 1, when you say A, 1, 1, this means that this is the item on the first row and first column. Let's say 1, 2, which is here, would mean that first row second column. Similarly, where is this item placed? It's placed in the first row and column number one, two, three, third column. Again, this is in the second row, so you put two to all of them. This is the first column, this is the second column, and this is the third column. Right? Now, because we said that this order of the matrix is number of rows into number of columns, we normally refer to the rows as M and the columns as N. So we say that this is the mth row, okay, and this is the first column. Then you write mth row, second column, and this last one, this is the mth row and the nth column. What I mean by nth is that let's say there are total number of columns are N, then this is the nth column. So you write it as A, M, N. In terms of theory, this is written as matrix A is equal to A, I, J, okay? And in such a case, basically I is equal to what? I is the row, and the total number of row can be M, so I has to be greater than or equal to, sorry, okay, why? Because the row can start only with 1, so I can always be 1 or greater than 1, right? And it has to be less than or equal to M, because M is the last row. Similarly, J is equal to 1, greater than or equal to 1, because the column can always be greater than or equal to 1 and greater less than or equal to n because n is the last column right and j and i should belong to natural numbers why because the row can only be natural they cannot be a fractional row 